Hello there, I'm Shane Young, and I get the privilege of helping you learn Copilot Studio. But before we start, I did want to let you know that I worked with the Microsoft product team to create this awesome training for all of you Power Platform rock stars. Cool? Cool. Okay, let's get to it. All right, so next up, we need to save the photo description back to Daver. So we got the photo description here, and so now we want to push that back in. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to Actions. We're going to add an action. We're going to search for Dataverse. And now we're looking for Update a Row in Selected Environment. Choose that. We'll say Next once our authentication is set up. And so then now we wanted to set our name and description as usual. So something like Update the Photo Description field for the incident photo. And then our description, use this action to update the photo description field with a summary of the photo you got back from running the action incident response photo description. All right? So kind of break down what we want. For the authentication, we change this to Copilot Author Authentication. And let's say Add Our Action. All right. And so now we want to take that action with a crazy name. And the first thing, of course, we're going to do when we get over here is give it a much easier name. And so I'm going to stick with Photo because that's what we also called the List Row one. But this one's Update a Row. So that way I know it's easier for me to connect those dots when I'm trying to find things later. All right. Everything else here is fine. Now for our inputs, for the environment, let's change this to Set as a Value. And then we'll go ahead and choose that chain environment again. And then the table, set as value, confirm. And then here we're going to search for incidents photos. Hit enter. Okay, so then now it's like, all right, I need to know what the row ID is. And so what we want to do is go down here and put in something like enter the row's global unique identifier, good, using the, and then that's that logical name that you got back from the action, and then the action name of the photo list rows. I put it in double quotes here because you can't do the whole control B in this case, right? If we highlight this, it doesn't do control B. And also you might know like every time I use slightly different language, I'm trying to expose you guys to lots of different ways of kind of doing similar things because different scenarios, different ones work. And so kind of the more ideas that you've got, the more things you can try when you're trying to write one of these for yourself, you know, it might be like, hey, this technique always works for me or this one clicks in my head. And whatever you and the agent can work out that both of you agree you get the right outcome, that is a great answer to me. Okay, so this should update the row for us. So then now we'll go ahead and say save. Now one note I want to put here, you might be thinking, well, why didn't you just do this in the flow when you already had all this information? You could have just added another action over there. Great idea. I love that you're thinking about things like that, right? So I wanted to show you how you would do this type of update action from within a Copilot Studio custom agent. So that's why I put it this way, but you're absolutely right. We could simplify our agent at this point by removing this whole step and that same flow that got the photo description, just add another Dataverse step in there. It says, hey, now that you got it, go ahead and write this for us. I, I love that idea, it's a great one. But for here, we wanted to kind of expose you to more things, more moving parts, so you learn more, but definitely places that you see that simplifying would work, I'm all for it. Okay, so that should be everything we need here. So let's grab this display name. And then now let's go here to overview. Let's edit. And so here, right, save the photo description back to Dataverse. We'll just add to this using the action, update the photo description field for the incident photo. So the one we just created, right? So that should do that. You know what, this time, so we avoid the confusion. Let's just go ahead and remember to remove this. We'll say control X. Okay, so then we can hit save. And then I'm going to refresh my test over here. I don't want anything to cloud judgment from last time. And then we'll go down here and process my trigger. There it is. And we'll say start testing. Now, while this is loading, another thing I want you to know, if you expand this right here, I can see the trigger text. And if you wanted, you could actually copy that, have that in your clipboard and just paste it into the prompt and then it would run. So you wouldn't have to go click the test trigger every time. So sometimes I do that just to be one last thing for Shane to do. But there you go. You can see our update the photo description is happening and all the fields came back. So this tells you that it successfully wrote it. And if we look over here, we should be able to scroll down a little bit and there's photo description, the image depicts a modern office, blah, 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 blah. Yay, it wrote everything that we wanted, okay? And then over here, it decided to just give us back kind of feedback. So you can see that, man, this thing is moving right along, right? Like we are getting the pieces of the puzzle that we want. So let's go back over here to overview and let's hit edit and let's paste back in our other instructions so we don't lose our place. And so we can see that next we want to evaluate the incident using our Word doc. So that's going to incorporate some knowledge. So let's go ahead and save that. And in the next video, let's talk about how to get that Word document knowledge in here.